Hi everyone, it's Katie and I'm here with a fun little donut card. I am currently trying to lose a few extra pounds and so this is the only donuts I can have is something like this. Anyway, I picked up uh, from the My Favorite Things this donut and sprinkles stamp set and the matching dies. And I also picked up a couple of uh, stencils, the polka dot and the large polka dot. And so I'm going to be working with all of those today on today's card for the My Favorite Things sketch for the week. And so I've die cut my donut out of craft cardstock and cream cardstock and then die cut the little sprinkles. And here I've taped down the stencil on my blue cardstock paper and my little sponge dauber kind of went to heck there. I don't know what happened. So I got a new one and went to town um, using this Amuse Studio pigment ink and just sponged it all over the blue cardstock and then kind of went back over and then I just wiped it off and I'll clean it off better but I didn't want there to be ink and everything as I was taking this off. And there you can see my polka dots and yes this was a piece of cardstock that I had punched out the sprinkles with. And then I'm using this um, pattern paper, and I just found this in my stash. I don't, it's very old, but I thought it looked kind of cute with the zigzags and the polka dots, and it all went together. And then I set to work to put the sprinkles using my um, Tombow Mono Malte glue and my little quick stick pen. And I thought, I, didn't, I need to get this put together, so I glued the frosting part on the donut and then I decided that I also wanted to put um, some foam tape on the back to kind of pop it up off the card and I thought I would do that before I put the sprinkles on so I didn't have to flip it back over when the sprinkles were wet. So I just used my quick stick pen and grabbed the sprinkles and put them on the top of the donut. I've got a lot of ideas of how I want to add these teeny tiny little sprinkles in the future but I thought it looks really cute with the three different colors of sprinkles and it turned out really cute. So I'm glad I went to all the work of putting the sprinkles on this donut because it really does um, turn out very cool. And then I just cleaned off the glue off my block with a baby wipe and um, was ready to put my donut on. And now I'm ready to work with the sentiment. And I picked this Sprinkled with Love sentiment from the stamp set. And I want, it's too big to fit across there, so I'm going to have to mask part of it off. And I'm just using this blue painter's tape. Any kind of tape or a post-it note would work just fine. But I masked off the part that I do not want to stamp. And I'm going to stamp it and heat emboss it so I use my embossing buddy on the cardstock and then I lined up where I wanted the words, took the masking off and now the only thing that's going to ink up there is the word sprinkled and I'm using Stampin' Up's white embossing powder and just as I was about to do that I got to thinking I don't know if it's going to stick to that pigment ink and I didn't have a problem with that however I guess some of the letters didn't fully stamp because when I heat embossed it, um, part of the K and the L didn't emboss very well. But it still is just fine for what I'm going to do with the card. But <clears throat> it could have been better. Anyway, I embossed that. And I did put a little heat on that pigment ink just so that it doesn't smear. But it really wasn't, I wasn't having any issues with that. And then I was ready to stamp and emboss the with love and so for this part I just masked off the sprinkled and I'm going to stamp the with love on some vellum cardstock and like always everything that I'm using I'm going to link up in the supplies on the blog post and there's a link to my blog post in the bottom of this video on my YouTube channel and so when I stamp that I could still see a little bit of the word sprinkled and I just rubbed it out with my finger and I didn't have any problem and I'm using this new black embossing powder. This is from Wow that I picked up at Steinman's Stamps um, a while ago. And I haven't used it before, but after I heat set it, I'm really impressed with it, um, especially with the font because it's kind of a small 
skinny font and this worked amazing. And now I want to put it on here, but I want a little flag. And so I'm using my go-to photo corner punch from Stampin' Up! that I use to create my flag. And I stick the cardstock or the vellum in there. And I got it to where I kind of wanted it. I always stick the words out the end a little bit so that I can see where they are. And then just slightly pull them back. That's how I gauge where it goes. And then I'm going to stick it on underneath the foam adhesive under the donut and I was messing around with it and it didn't really matter because it kept moving and once I peeled the foam off and got ready to set it I had to move it again anyway so there you go voila there is the front of my card and I'm just using some craft card stock cut in half eight and a half by eleven and then I scored at four and a quarter and I'm ready to put the front onto the card base and there you go very um, fun and simple little card using the donut set donuts and sprinkles set from my favorite things thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed hope I give you a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and have a great day